You're listening to KEXP. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle and streaming online around the world at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. Our good friends Mahmoud are here in the studio today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It is always so wonderful to see you, and you have been up to a lot since we last saw you. A brand new album, and uh, I want to hear what's been going on, but start us off with a couple of songs. You've got a new record, Kinder Versions. Mamut live on KEXP. Mamut live on KEXP, the new album, Kinder Versions, and they're going to be playing here at KEXP, a free show tomorrow night in our gathering space. Come on down. This is an amazing band to see live. Showed me how to move. You 
you show me the dark, show me the light. There was a glitch inside the cold, cold wall. But what's the point of knowing?
Absolutely wonderful. Mahmoud live here in the KEXP studios, songs from the new album, Kinder Versions. It is always such a pleasure to see you perform live. I've been lucky enough to see you quite a few times, and I always just get sucked in the music, all the instruments, creating this moody vibe. But Kata, you are moving constantly. I know you're like a panther meets a snake, meets rolling waves of water, and without realizing it, I always find myself mirroring your movements in my body. I mean, you just, your music just has this way of seeping in. You're just incredible performers and it makes me wonder when you're starting to write songs are you actually putting you know pen to paper I imagine you're trying to write and you're <laughs> moving your body around because I can't imagine you working these songs without that movement it feels like a part of it well we created moving we created together in a room not as pretty like this but still and we move together while we write the songs and so the movement uh, is a really big part of our music, and especially it grows with every album. So yes, but thank you for these um, yeah, pictures, like a snake, what did you say, a snake? A and panther, and, and even snake. rolling waves yeah. of water. It's well, hard. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've said in interviews that it was a very intense year and a half, the making yeah. of this record. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Um, it, um, it took us, uh, what, like two years to, from, from start to finish. And it was a whole year with uh, us coming together in Iceland to write it. And we wrote it in, so it was all like we wrote it in pitch dark winter. And we wrote it in the like searing light of the summer. So, and we went, you know, all around and we were like homeless. We didn't have a rehearsal space. So we did it in like um, summer houses and in warehouses and in, in office spaces, like after hours. And so it was just, yeah, it was and lots of stuff, of course, happening with us personally. So it was an intense year, and it was a, but it was fabulous, wasn't it? Yes. It was. Yes. <laughs> you always seem to be pushing boundaries with your music, and you've been playing together since you were kids. You have many yes. albums, and there must be a lot of trust there, and maybe working from instinct. What's it like when you come together as a band, mm -hmm. writing? Recording, obviously, we know, and we can see the results of what it's like to perform mm -hmm. the finished product. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of trust, um, and also because we've been doing it since we were so young, we have like grown into it, and um, um, yeah, there's just a lot of trust, and um, and we we are figuring out more and more with every year that our instincts and our guts. That's uh, kind of the only thing we have been following the past 15 years. <laughs> so, Well, your instincts told you to write this record in English. Yeah. You have three albums in Icelandic. Of course, we mm -hmm. saw uh, the EP in 2015, mm -hmm. and you had those songs in English. And I imagine you're, you're quite fluent in English, but it must be very different to write a song in a language that's not your first. And I was surprised to hear in your head you were thinking of artists like Elvis Presley, yeah. who I don't look at you. Well, you do have a charisma, yeah, but I, I don't hear the, the <laughs> voice of Elvis. So yeah. what did you do here in your head, and how was it writing the songs in English uh, for this record? It was, uh, it was very important to do it now, and we, uh, we as a band, just feel very free to be singing in like the English language. Um, but it was it was a decision that came naturally this time, but it hasn't been like that. We uh, we thought we would never do it, but then we really want to get off the island, Iceland, you know, you know, and then you have to take steps. Yeah, I didn't think about it. There's only a few hundred thousand yeah. people who speak all of Icelandic. A sudden it, all of a sudden, it also seemed quite ignorant to just be singing in a language three hundred thousand people. <laughs> understood and we want to tell stories and but the thing with English is that the history of rock music and pop music is so big in English you know uh, lyrics so that's why I was referencing you know I was writing something down and I thought like whoa this is something Michael Jackson could actually sing and you know because when you're writing pops pop or rock songs in Icelandic you don't have any not much references I mean the history is so small in Icelandic lyric music. So, so and it was freeing, as I've said in interviews. Like um, being naive in English is much easier than in Icelandic, or not naive, but being um, 
direct. Like, I love you is a sentence I've always wanted to put in our songs, but it's impossible to say it in Icelandic because it feels, it's, it, it is like over the top dramatic and just theatrical and weird in Iceland when you put it in songs. In the way that it actually sounds coming out of your mouth or the meaning behind yeah, what I, it translates? Yeah, but how, yeah, but how, it, how it's said and in what kind of context, in a con context it is used in Iceland. It just doesn't work or it's so heavy, you know, it's so like, ooh. So, yeah, uh, it, it's a, free, a freeing thing. And I think we will continue for some time writing in English. And it's very also liberating to be on stage and outside of Iceland and see the audience understand. You know, there comes this extra connection that, yeah. Because we also with the years, you also find time how how important it is. You know, you're always realizing the the conversation between us and the audience. You know, you're always realizing how very important it is and how much it um, gives you, you know, how much it gives back. You know, it's like a ping pong thing, you know. We're, and yeah, so it gives this extra bond between us. As a fan, it's really fun to sing along. And mm -hmm. I have been a fan for a long time when you were only singing in Icelandic. Yeah. And it's funny because I would try to sing along if I could <laughs> catch little phrases that I could make with my mouth, but I didn't know what I was saying. But you know, when Salt came out in English, yeah. I was so excited to yeah. go to the shows and to be able to mm -hmm. sing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. And that's a connection, of mm -hmm. course, that you can make with a wide audience. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, it's so wonderful to have you here. And Mahmoud's going to be playing tomorrow night a rare free show here in the KEXP gathering space. Fufanu and Charms will also be performing. Highly recommend that you come down to KEXP and celebrate this great new music and this wonderful new album, Kinder Versions. And uh, want to play some more songs from the new record? Yes. Here's Mahmoud live on KEXP.
live on KEXP. That is incredible. It's amazing what you do with your vocals on that song. What's that song called? Waltz. That's on the new album, Kinder Versions. Highly recommended. Come out and see Mahmoud tomorrow. They're playing here at KEXP in our gathering space. Music starts at 7 p.m. and Fufanu and Charms also performing. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is wonderful. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah. It's so great to see you. You're listening to Mahmoud here on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.